Okay, wake up. What is it? Organic Look at Hyos hopelessly sleeping around the palace. Why are you brought in here to sleep? I was already done cooking now. I was tired. I decided to rest here. I didn't know when I slept off. You didn't know when you slept off? Now listen to me. Listen and listen attentively. Hold your ears. The queen is expecting some guests, right? She said you should prepare some local dishes and intercontinental delicacies. Are you listening to me? I do not want any form of mistakes. Did you hear me? I'm talking to you as you sleeping. Get going, get out of my sight. See me, come. Goodness, baby. I'm just so happy. I'm so excited. You know why? <laughs> because the Prince of Ife Jaku Kingdom has just proposed to me. He proposed to me. So I'm going to be the next queen of Ife Jaku Kingdom. <laughs> I'm super excited, you know. <laughs> I just hope this wasn't your attitude at the proposal ground. I, I just hope so. I don't understand. How do you mean? I mean the way you're excited. I seem the prince proposing to you is a big deal. Of course! Lucy, it's a big deal. You think it's easy for a prince to propose to you? Ah, oh, it's not. Really? Yes! <laughs> Jane! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Have you forgotten who you are? Have you? Do I need to remind you? Babe, come on. Come on. How can you be this excited and joyful just because one local prince from one local community or kingdom proposed to you? Babe, it should be the other way around. He is the one who is supposed to be this excited that you said yes to his proposal. Really? Yes! Oh my goodness. Lucy, I know what's your problem because you've never been in love. Okay, let me make it very clear to you. Firstly, when I saw him, I fell in love with him. And now, I am not just excited that a prince proposed to me. I am only excited that the love of my life proposed to me. And you're telling me not to be excited. Come on, baby girl, you should be happy for me. I'm Whichever excited. way. Whichever way. He is the one that is supposed to be this excited. I still maintain my stance. Oh, whatever. Oh. I know what your problem is, baby girl. But I am in love. I am getting married. I am obsessed, baby. I am! <laughs> you will not understand because you've never been in love. Have you ever been in love? I'll take that to be a compliment. Congratulations, anyway. Oh my goodness. It's not like I'm not happy for you, though, but I just feel somehow. How? I mean, the whole excitement, I don't seem to get it. Oh, lady, baby girl. Have you ever been in love? I hate you. I love you. We need to pop some shit. They are celebrating me. Mm. But what I know is that I just saw people trooping into the palace and the chef preparing different meals at the same time. Mm. So you want to tell me that you don't even know what they are celebrating? And you're here eating rice and chicken. <laughs> Must I know the reason for the celebration before I enjoy this meal and the drink that they gave us? Mm? Must I? Madam, no. Oh. oh, yeah, now tell us what are they celebrating? Okay. Oh. Today is the first birthday. That's what they are celebrating. Liar. The prince's birthday is in June. Mm -hmm. I remember when they celebrated his birthday last year. It was June and not March. 
You're right. Mm -hmm. But if that is the case, what are they celebrating? Yeah, you know. Wait, so you don't even know. And you're here talking. My dear, mind just close your mouth. We are all the same. Let's just enjoy this food and this drink in peace. Yes, ma'am. Mm. 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 Oh. I mean, this chair mm. shall be cooked. I swear. Oh, mm. Cheers. Mm. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers. Mm. My enjoyment. Actually, you know what, cheers? I mean, it's good job. This food is very, very delicious. Though. See, in my next generation, I'm continuing to be a palace get man. These are no guesses. So let me talk like this. Let's go home. I'm going to talk my brain. Come on, 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 come he is my place. <laughs> is everywhere cleared? Yes, Your Majesty. The maids are coming. Okay. Um, the prince. He hasn't eaten anything. I observed him. He was busy drinking and dancing all night. Tell the chef to get something for him to eat in his chamber. Let her be quick with that. Yes, I'm ready. Sleeping again on duty. Shame on you. Ugo, what is it now? Won't I rest? I single-handedly made all the local and continental dishes the queen asked me to make for her guests. Served everybody, washed all the dishes. Eh? This night again, you don't want me to rest. Get it home. My friend, the queen says you should go and check up on the prince. He might be hungry. No problem, let me just go and serve his dinner. After that, in Jelarora. Oh, no, my mother can't be. My no not be. My mother can't be. My mother can't be. Stand up there, go and take what you are asking. Let me do, let me take his dinner to him. What is wrong with you, sir? Every time sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. your dinner. Who are you again? My prince, you are drunk. How dare you? <coughs> Hi, Jesus. Sorry. How dare you? Huh? How dare you call the prince? Of if a job got drunk. I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. What are you doing here? I brought your dinner. And who sent you? Your mother, the queen. My mother doesn't have the right to ask you. Save me my food. I am the prince of this kingdom. I know what I want. I know when I want it. Understand? Okay, okay. No problem. Let me take it back. I'm here! <coughs> sorry. I'll take your walk out of me. I'm sorry, my friends. <sighs> My, 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 my. Shh. 
You are touching delicate part of my body, please. My prince, this is not you. My prince. My prince. Listen to me. Huh? You have everything that the prince wants. You know what I'm talking about. My prince! Shh. My prince, please! My prince! My prince! My prince! My prince! My prince! My prince. My prince. My prince. Jesus! Mama, my queen, what is going on here? And why are you crying? Ubo came to me and said that you asked I served the prince dinner. And I brought it. He said he's not interested. I wanted to take it and go. He grabbed me and forcefully raped me. Ah. My son raped you? Yes. Yes, he was drunk. <laughs> Listen. You have to go and clean up, okay? Just pick whatever that is yours. Go to your quarter and uh, clean up. Listen. On no account would you tell anyone that my son raped you? Do I make myself clear? Yes. Le, sis, sis, listen. Do not tell anyone what transpired between you and my son in his room. Not your ghost. Not your shadow. Not even your mother. Because if you do, I will find out. And if I do, I will strangle you with my bare hands. And leave. <laughs> Selfish woman, a woman without sympathy, a woman without woman sympathy, princess bell. Wakey, wakey, sleepy head. Princess bell. Hey, get up. My shower briefly so we can start leaving. Okay. Is the prince still coming to take us to the airport? <sighs> the prince, the dude is high, you know. He was drunk last night while he was celebrating our engagement. Mm -hmm. You're really correct what you said. I called him on a video call and I saw that dude has already passed on. So I think you should just um call the hotel taxi to come get us. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay, Let just shower. Yeah, hurry up. I'll call the taxi. Mm. He, he was drunk. <laughs> Celebrating the engagement. <laughs> that was nice to hear. How could you? How could you descend so low as to rape a maid palace maid? The fact that your son was drunk doesn't mean a thing to you. You know me too well. 
I wouldn't do a thing like that. I, I, I wasn't in my right senses. I was under the influence of alcohol. No mother. level of alcohol should have made you lose whom you are. She did not cheat off for you are the prince. You are the king in making of this kingdom. The bodies are both mistake, mother. Some mistakes are more costly. Costlier than life itself. And this particular mistake of yours is capable of denying you your father's throne if not properly handled. How could you? How could you sacrifice your destiny on the altar of one minute? One minute pleasure. I'm so ashamed of myself. Of course you should be. Have you thought about your bride to be? Have you ever pondered now that you're seated how she will react? Should she hear it? You'll be labeled a rapist. Mother, we are in this together, aren't we? I am not with you and this. I need your help. I can't do this all alone. The maid has to be silenced. We need to keep our mouth shut forever. Mother, please. I've noticed that for the past three days now, you have been feeling moody. If you're not crying, you're sobbing. If you're not sobbing, you're moody. You're no longer cheerful as you used to be. Uh, I suppose that something must be the cause of your unhappiness. Please, what is that? Is everything my extra mother? Thanks for your care and my mother is fine. Then what would be the cause of your unhappiness all the time? Ah, please, please. I would appreciate if you don't ask me this question again. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing to me? Has anyone noticed the chair recently? Mm. Everything started after the last party. She has always been moody ever since. I know she overstressed herself that night. But what I want to know is behind her mood afterwards. This can be. This is more serious than mere palace choice. There is something, but she's not disclosing. Who knows? Might be a family issue, you know? Yeah, maybe. Mm. That was why I went to ask her if her mother was fine. And what did she say then? Oh, she said her mother is fine. That I shouldn't bother asking again because she's not going to tell me. Oh, all right. It's well. Mm -hmm. yeah. well. I have to go to the next place. Mm -hmm. We should continue. Continue, continue again. Continue. Girl, we are behind you. Please, let's go. Okay. <laughs> a woman without sympathy. A woman without woman sympathy. Green Jasper. Hello, babe. How you doing? How are your parents? Mom is fine, dad is fine, 
We are all doing well. Now that you've graduated, aren't you considering coming back home to establish here? Of course. Of course, baby. I'll be coming down to Nigeria, you know, to be with my man and start raising our kids. <laughs> okay. And so you can support me in being the next king of Ife Joko Kingdom? Ah, of course, baby. So when is our royal wedding? Oh, soon. Sooner than you think, babe. Soon? Yeah. Baby, you know you have to tell me, like inform me on time, so I can make my own preparation. You see? Uh, my mom and I were actually getting through with my late father's cabinet. And after that, we'll put that into consideration. <laughs> okay, baby. I can't wait for that day to come to pass. And I can't wait to get married to you, sweetheart. <laughs> I love you. I'm sorry, I can't. Why? I ate them. Cannot open this gate for you. Today and tomorrow is my off day. Please open the gate. Let me go and see my mother. What is all this now? Mama, I can only open this gate on Queen's command. Nobody even make me open this gate. Not even my village people. So I have to go and tell the queen to tell you to open the gate before you open gates for me. Maybe. All of you are really beginning to take me for granted in this palace. So maybe because I'm a quiet person. You people are looking for my trouble. You people are looking for my trouble. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? You people say you don't know who, 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 who is at them. I am going on your young sorrow. Don't go and take permission from the queen. Come back and challenge them. Yeah. Selfish woman. A woman without sympathy. Yes, come in. Which is my queen? Now my answer. My queen, today and tomorrow are my own days. I wanted to go out, but the security man refused. He wouldn't let me go. You want to go home? Yes, I want to go home. Well, I personally ordered the gate man not to allow you to leave the palace in order to monitor your movement. We had a deal, have you forgotten? That no ear should hear what transpired between you and my son, the order of it. Yes, my queen, but it's just my house that I'm going to. I'm not going any other place. Well, you're just telling me. I believe you're saying the truth. I don't have any reason to lie to you, my queen. I just want to go and see my mother. What are you just telling me? And I hope you are saying the truth. Jeremy, thank you, my queen. Remember, no ear should hear what happened. Else, I will kill you. No problem, my queen. No one will hear. Not even my mother. Not even your mother. Alright, my queen. At last we reach At last we reach At last we reach Next man! At last we Mother, mother, 
Okay, Your Majesty. I don't hear. Calm down. Calm down your temperature. Can't even tell me thank you. Now this kind of thing, them they talk, they give you my phone. She she can't even tell me thank you. She feels say na ha. Come on, make me open this gate. Selfish woman, a woman without sympathy, a woman without woman sympathy. She tell me not to tell my mother this kind of thing. I'll tell my mother. Let me see if she's a witch, if she will be in the palace and hear when I'll be telling her. They go keep them. Mama, I was preserving my virginity. Because I know it is my pride. I was the best, first person that will have canal knowledge of me to be my husband. That is my dignity as a woman. A priest took advantage of me because he knows I'm nobody. He raped me. Raped me. He disvenged me for nothing. It's okay, my daughter. It's okay, my daughter. He did it. Because we are nobody. Mm. He did it because he knows nobody will fight for us. Your mother is a nose. I'm a nose. And that's how Trinity makes you a nose. Mm. But they are dead, they are royalty. They are royalty. And that's why they decided to oppress you and oppress us like this. On you, on me! But you must worry. There is someone who is greater than all of them. He stays up there and oversees what happens here. He sees all the injustice. He sees all the wickedness. He sees all the ill-treatment meted on us. He's going to fight for the whole. <laughs> He's going to fight for the oppressed. Let me go. Stop crying. So wasn't it all? The queen called me and said that I should not tell anybody about this, including you. How can I not tell my mother about such evil that was done to me? She even went ahead to threaten me that if I tell anybody, she will kill me. She did not even feel sorry for me. For what happened? I understand why she said what she said. She's afraid that we might open up to tell it to people. And you know what? With so much the courage to tell it to people, this thing they have done to you, with so much the courage to say it to people. So, and if the son is brought to swear to an oath or to plead guilty, you see that throne? He would never send that throne according to our culture and tradition. He would never send it. Then let's tell people now he needs to pay for what he has done to me. He needs to be punished. Mm -mm, mm -mm, please, allow, see, eh? we are going to allow God to take control. God knows it all. He cannot fight them. He cannot. I'm 
Mama, good morning. Oh. Good morning, Rizem. You're already awake. Yes, Mama. That's a challenge. <laughs> Eh, uh, because must say so be fast about it so that you can go to the village clinic and get you some drugs before you start going to the palace. Mama, I'm not going to that palace again. Uh -uh. Why? I'm not going there. I don't want to go there. That that place gives me bad, bad, bad memories. Come okay, okay, okay. sit down. Mama, but see, eh, Mama, I cannot go back to that palace. Going back to that place reminds me of that horrible experience that night. I still cannot take my mind off it. You needed to have seen what that guy did to me that night. He devoured me like a vulture. I need to be in a place where I can, you know, see if I will, I will forget it a bit. Come now, hell, I need to heal small, small. Going back to that place to remind me of the whole incident again, to make me feel very terrible. I need time to heal. In as much as I want to understand you, hmm? you will need to go back to that palace for your life and for our lives. I don't understand how you, what do you mean? What I mean is that if you refuse to go back to that palace, the queen will think that you want to breach the agreement you had with her. I had already broken the agreement. The agreement was for me not to tell anybody, but I've told you already. Ah, telling me. Telling me is as good as keeping it to yourself. Will I tell anybody? Me. I can't claim that type of nonsense from my mouth. Eh? Oh, if you tell her now, how can I say? I'm not saying it anymore. In fact, you did not tell me. I've not heard anything. I didn't hear anything. Pakam, you have it. Oh? But meanwhile, you have to prepare and go back to the palace and make the queen believe that you are still in the same boat. Hmm? Biko. Don't play with fire. Are they joking? Do not play with fire. And I know a giant abundance. I want to sweep this thing fast and then go, go by the doors. Then rush to the palace. Oh no, don't even think about it. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say Back yet from her two days off? Not yet, Your Majesty. Not yet. Yes, my queen. Good. Inform me as soon as she returns. Tell her to come to my chambers and see me. I will, Your Majesty. Do not forget. I will not forget, Your Majesty. You may leave. Yes, Your Majesty. Why do you bother yourself about nothing? You call losing the throne of your father's nothing? You call carelessly handing your inheritance to a total stranger nothing? Really? <sighs> but nobody knows about it. That's the point. Nobody knows about it. That's what we think. So we think. The Roy just left my 
She left for her two days off. Today is the third day. Check your wristwatch. It's past 12 noon. And she's nowhere to be found. Are you in any way insinuating that she might have decided to quit her job and report me to the elders? And you'll be made to prove yourself. You need to prove by swearing to clear yourself. You need to clear your innocence. I'm sure you're not ready to die now, or are you? She failed to resume up to date for all days. Who will give the cooking in Paris? Hey, Quaker, you and I know very much about that. It has nothing to do with the cooking in Paris. A lot of weights here can handle that. And employing yeah. another chair won't cost the cooking in any minute. So, what are you insinuating? Listen. Something deep is going on in this palace, and we are all yours of it. Something like it. Something like the reason the chef was moving for days before she left the palace, always crying. Yeah, all right. You get the point. The question is, what exactly is that? Whatever it is, must be dead serious. You will get it. And who stole is it to mop the outer chamber of the palace this week? And what the hell are you still doing there? But, but I thought you said... You thought what? Will you get, get and get, get to work? And both of you, what are you still doing there? Get up there and get busy with your life. Get used to with your life. Instead of standing here and gossip. Busy bodies. Yes, Mama, I want to cook um, beans and plantain for us for dinner. I thought we agreed that you are going back to the palace this morning. Mama, I changed my mind when you left. Hey, you now. Mama, why are you doing this to us? Hey, why are you putting our lives in danger? How? What I mean is that you want to waste us just like that. The way you will come for us if you don't go back to that palace. She will. Listen. What I see sitting down here, even if you climb the highest you go to, you will never see it. You will not. Mama, I don't feel like going back to that palace. That's why maybe you left, I changed my mind. I don't feel safe there any longer. I feel safe here. Hey, I don't feel safe around the, the queen and he, her son. I don't feel safe around the queen and her son. Going there is like endangering my life. Mm -mm. There you go wrong. The danger is in you running away from them. You don't know that when you go close to them, they will believe that their secrets are safe with you. You don't understand. Please, you have to go back to that palace. What? Oh, Mama, if I'm never going to go back to that palace, it's because of you. Oh, yeah. Do it for your mother. Oh? Okay. okay, do it for you. But tomorrow, you are going back to the palace. To work. Okay?
No. I can't take chances. Never. I will let her know that before Abraham, Jesus was. Yes. Jidin Najito for my son. Truly messed up. But I won't be alive. I won't be alive and watch his mistake cost us the throne of his fathers. Never. If that poor wretched witch thinks she's smart, then I will show her that I am smarter than her little brains. Yes, I am. I am. Selfish woman, a woman without sympathy. It's just a dream. Calm down. Mama, calm it down. It was so real. Oh boy, he was just pushing me. He was pushing me. He finally caught me and shot at me. God forbid. Hey! God forbid this can never happen. Nobody's going to shoot my daughter. What? No, oh, well, calm down. It's just a dream. Mama, eh? I put on with the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 Jesus. God is protecting us always. Nothing will happen to us. Let's go. Let's, eh, let's go inside. Oh? Let's go inside so you can sleep. Eh? Your sins can be covered forever. Forever, forever. The secret you hide today may cost your life tomorrow. No peace for the wicked. One day your sins will find you. Jidagi Puchiko, it may take time, but it must surely come to pass. It may take time, but it must surely come to pass.
to come see me at my chambers. Yes, Your Majesty. I'm really so sorry, my queen. The truth is, I'm supposed to resume work yesterday. But my mother fell ill and there was nobody to take care of her. I had to quickly take her to the village clinic. But now that she's a bit stable and she can stay by herself, I started to come work. You know, I've never behaved like this. I'm sorry. Why do I feel that you are not telling the truth? My queen, I'm, I'm saying the truth. You can make inquiries. I am feeling that your refusal to resume work yesterday was as a result of what I want you never to mention to anyone. And you told your mother about it, am I right? No, 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 no. I did not tell my mother about it. Are you saying the truth? Yes, my queen. I'm saying the truth. Desperate, selfish woman, a woman without sympathy, a woman without woman sympathy, Queen Jasper. Queen Jasper, heartless Queen, Queen Jasper. We should not vote. Target. So what happened? Why didn't you resume work yesterday? My dear, my mother was sick, so I needed to be certain she's stable enough to be on her own before coming back. Well, everyone was worried though. Worried about what? Worry about the fact that before you left, you were acting all strange, feeling moody, crying at grand on me. So we thought that she were never coming back. That whatever was making you cry had kept you from coming back. Not at all. Far from that. So who was that you were crying about? You know you're my friend in this palace. Mm -hmm. If you value our friendship, don't ask me this question again. I'm sorry. It's okay, no problem. You've eaten your own food, Abby. Yes. I'm done cleaning. Okay. I'm washing. I think I should have my shower. And let me go and do another thing. Okay. Okay. That's exactly what. Hello, son. Hold up, babe. I'll call back, okay? My mother is here. Me, I'll take it Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, mother. How are you? I'm fine, as you can see. You? Very well. Um, the royal cabinet sent two delegates. I already know why they are here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me, when are we going to pay her bright price officially? Uh, whenever you deem it fit. Yeah, she's ready. Uh, she's done with school. So when you choose a date, you tell me, I'll tell her to tell her parents. Are you sure? Sure, sure, mother. Okay. Tell them exactly one month. 
from today. Okay. Come on. No problem. Let me go sit with them. Okay. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. Hello, babe. Long, Long live the queen. They sit. Welcome the cabinet members of Fejoko Kingdom. British I urge you to go straight to the point. Tell me. Tell me the reason you're here. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings to you, Ichin Naduzian. After a long deliberation of your late husband's cabinet, we were sent to come and inquire from the queen when her son, the prince of this kingdom, will introduce his bride to us so that we can proceed the royal wedding. Come the grandeur of our next king. One month. One month from now, I will present to you the queen, the next queen of Ifejoko kingdom. I've not been idle. I know the dues and dons of Ifejoko kingdom. I know that as soon as the morning of the late king is over, the next is coronation. So I have been walking behind closed doors. Relax. <laughs> My queen, I must commend your doggedness in running the day-to-day -day activities of this palace. Truly, you are indeed a queen mother. We have received your message. We will return back to the cabinet and relate to them. Go to our No. That should be after the chef and the maids are giving you treats. Oh. <laughs> 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 Here she comes. The queen of the making of the Great Yoko Kingdom. You're welcome, sweetheart. Thank you, my love. <laughs> I will present. Very successful. Hello, daughter. Mommy. You're welcome. Good afternoon, mm -hmm. Prince. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mommy. Good afternoon. How was your trip? Very successful. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. Thank, Thank you. you. Very well. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank oh, you please. Much. Inside. Can we get inside? Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah. You look so astonished with her. Oh, my God. But at the moment, they are all at um, daddy's uh, country home. Oh. Getting ready for my prince to come and pay my birth price. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to hear. Yeah. Yeah, good to hear. Yeah. That's nice. Okay, there you go. I'm mom. missing a Nigerian food. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sweetheart, Thank there you, you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Oh, <laughs> I'll have yours for now. Yeah. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. It's a good life. It's a good life. It's a good life. I wouldn't mind yours on this, but I want more of it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yes, yeah, she will. It's fine. I can help with the vision. I'll tell you if you say so. She's more than a woman. Beyond She's desperate. Selfish woman. A woman without sympathy. A woman. Taking Jane to the hotel and right back. Isn't she going to her parents' house today? Oh, no, she isn't. Um, actually, we agreed to stay together today at the hotel. We will spend some time today, and uh, tomorrow she'll be going to meet her parents. All right. But she is waiting for you to say goodbye. Goodbye to her then. Mother, just like that. Oh, come on. Um, why don't you come and say goodbye to her? She didn't know you don't for I have a lot on my head. Saying goodbye to her is in the least of my worries. Please, just... Mother, is there a problem? Not that I can't handle. Trust me. Just take care of your brand on me. To the hotel and have fun. I say so. Yeah. I'll be right back. If you run out of cash, no problem. All right, yeah. That's my mother. <laughs> All right. I'll see you. Yeah. Be careful. Sure. Your sins can be covered forever. Forever. Alright, sweetheart. 
Shall we? Okay. What about mom? I told you I needed to inform her that we're leaving. That's God see, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, but there will be no need for that. I told her already, she you knows, so shall we? Let's go. I don't get that. What do you mean? The point I'm trying to make is mother is upstairs. She's quite busy. She can't come down right now. Babe, Kotsi demands that I inform her before leaving. Amy? Yeah. yeah. Honey, why are you so bothered about seeing my mother before you leave? Come on, we're good like that, okay? Shall we? You know what, babe? It's fine. He already said he has informed his mother that we are leaving. I think it's the same thing. Let's go. Really? It's fine. Yeah, yeah so really. Can you get your own bag? So walk to the car. you guys found interest in what you saw at the palace? Of course, yes. <laughs> they had fun. Sweetheart, I hope you do too. Okay. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, what's wrong? Today doesn't call for this, okay? It's been two months. Two good months you haven't seen your husband to be. Oh. Now you're seeing me, you're wearing a frown. It's not right, okay? We should be having fun, excess fun. We should be laughing, we should be playing together, okay? I just said I'm fine, babe. I'm okay. Uh, I don't think so. No, you're not fine. I can tell from the frown on your face. Babe, I just told you I'm fine. I'm okay. Now you're doing just that. Amy. It makes you more I mean, prettier. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Prince. Yep. Thank you for the treat at the palace. I had fun. Oh, I'm glad you have fun. Yeah. You ain't seen Martin yet. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yes. I miss Nigeria though. You should. This is your motherland, you know? <laughs> The yeah. cradle of civilization. Miss it too, baby. Miss it too, I think I'm having malaria. I'm running temperature. When last did you see your monthly flow? Eh? You heard me. I've not seen it this month, so I don't know why it's delaying. What? Tell me. Apart from my son, who else has had? Canon knowledge of you. I swear with the gods of our land though, before and after your son, nobody has ever had canon knowledge of you. Are you saying you were a virgin before the raid? Yes, my queen.
still say, I can't really place it, but something in me tells me that the queen is behaving and acting strange. Yeah, I have this feeling. Yeah. You may be right. You may be right. No, it's not I may be right. I am right. <sighs> there is something I can't really place it. Didn't you notice? If you were a little observant, you would have noticed immediately the, 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 the maid, I mean the chef, acted ridiculously. Her mood just changed. Oh yeah, I noticed. Yes! Babe, you're right, I noticed. Oh. Even all the while I was playing with the prince, cracking jokes and all, she didn't even smile or pay attention to what we're doing. Exactly. I mean, she just stopped talking to everyone no smiles, no conversations of any sort. And then she just walked out. Ooh, I, I noticed. I and noticed. And to clear my curiosity, when we wanted to leave, I made it very clear that I wanted to see her. Oh my God, she wanted to see me. But she refused. She refused to see me. I even sent the prince to her. And she told the prince that she's busy. How can she say she's busy to see me? The future queen? Whoa. <sighs> I just hope he has nothing to do with me. How? Yeah, um, obviously she wanted me to, to serve the food. Immediately the chef left. Of course not. Because I already did. I mean, I served the food, so... No, you're not the bride. I am the bride. Yeah, probably she feels oh, I can do any domestic chores or something. That's what I feel. Then really? you know what I think. I think this has nothing to do with you, but everything to do with the chef. Yes, that's what I think. Amy? Mm -hmm. So, if it's the chair, then that's fine. I don't know how I feel, but you have to relax. This has nothing to do with you. I'm sure of that. What could be troubling my mother like this? I wonder why she has refused to open up to me. Whatever it might be must be very serious. My mother is strong and brave. For this issue to get a better part of her means that the issue is dead serious. Why is she not opening up to me? Or whatever it is, I just hope it has nothing to do with my marriage to Jane. Because as it stands now, there is no going back. Nothing will stop me from marrying her. I just hope it is not it. I just hope you are not pregnant, Wamma. You can't be pregnant. No. Not now. Not even tomorrow. I just hope it is malaria as you have said. In fact, it has got to be malaria. Yes, it is malaria. You are not pregnant. Pregnant. You can't be pregnant. No, 
Not now, not now. Selfish woman, a woman without sympathy. What is wrong with me? I don't understand my body system today at all. I just hope it's not what I'm thinking. Your Highness, the result is positive. Positive? Yes, Your Highness. Are you sure there's no mix-up anywhere? Not at all, Your Highness. I personally handled the sample myself. And I did the lab test too. No other person was involved. I had to be very careful since it was coming from me. Alright. You may leave. Thank you, Your Highness. Greetings. Mother. Mm. Rosa is not here. Are you sure you're fine? Yes. I'm okay. And whose lab results are you holding in your hands? Oh, never mind. Why are you hiding this from me? It's something I can handle. Excuse me. Your sins can be covered forever. Forever. Your evil can be covered forever. Forever. If I believe it, it's a rare. It's a yiki gaji burrito. It's your sins can be covered forever. Forever. It's your wicked. Mama, yes, my queen. I like you. I like you. Thank you. Thank you so much, my queen. I'm honored. I like the fact that your meal has been the most sweet, well prepared delicacy I've ever tasted. And that made me to have a special. Support for you. I'm humbled, my queen. Thank you so much. I'm always here to make your favorite. But I just hope that you will make me do what I am not supposed to do. I don't understand, my queen. Well, listen. Because of the rain, a lab result confirmed that you are a few weeks pregnant for my son. Jesus! If we go. Calm down. Ikifu. Mona Kikakeva. Well, listen, you can only get lost when you fail to abide by my directives. That's very simple. And I'll make it very easy for you. This is the royal blood. And it can never be raised out of the palace. You're not royalty. You're just a chef that came from the quarters. And my son cannot settle for you. I don't want the bride to be to hear anything about this rape. I wouldn't want a situation whereby my son would be leveled a rapist. So I want you to terminate the pregnancy. Your Majesty. 
See, this is a royal blood. Mom, there's something you need to know. You are going to that palace, a virgin, right? Don't you ever go there to open your necks to any man. If you try to open your legs to those useless palace guards and they break your virginity, I'll probably get you pregnant. Be rest assured that you're going to get married to a palace guard. And I know that's not what you want for yourself, right? The reason I'm telling you this is because in our lineage, no one commits any abortion of any sort because anyone that tries it dies instantly. There's no two ways about it. Did you hear what I said? Yes, ma'am. Or should I repeat myself? Good. I trust you. I know what to do. Please go and sleep. Yes! Your Majesty, I am sorry. Please. I beg you in the name of God, I cannot have an abortion. Kent, are you trying to disobey my orders? No, no, far from it. My mother told me that my lineage cannot have an abortion, that whoever that tries it dies instantly. They don't make it out alive. Listen, listen. This is not that kind of abortion. No, the pregnancy is too tender. No, all you need to do is to take the pill I shall provide for you. Go to your room. Stay indoors the whole day and your miserable flow will be forced to come out. It's very simple. Aren't you getting it? My queen, your majesty, please. I am sorry for everything. No, please. Let me just go. Let me quietly pack my things and leave the palace. I promise you, nobody will know that my baby is a royal blood. I'll not even tell them Prince is irresponsible. But let me just go with the baby and have the baby. I don't want to die young. Please. I promise you, I will keep it to myself. Nobody will hear that your son impregnated me. Please. Please, I am begging. Please, my queen. I am begging. Please. I will not send anyone that tries it to die. Please. Please. Have mercy on me. Please. I promise you. The baby will not even know the father. How dare the baby the father is dead. Please. Please. Get up. You've not mentioned this to anybody, right? I've not. Good. Go to your room. Pack your things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, my queen. No, you don't have to. Thank you, my queen. I appreciate you. God will keep you safe. Thank you for your understanding. She's desperate. Selfish woman, a woman without sympathy, a woman without woman sympathy, Queen Jasper. Queen Jasper, come on, Queen Jasper. Open gates for me. I cannot. Why? I cannot open this gate for you until the queen give me order. Her majesty said I should go. Proof? Yes. You have to prove because the queen has not called me. And I cannot open the gate you for you. You are always looking for my trouble. I'm not in that mood. At the count of three, if you don't open yeah. this gate. One, two, Calm down, don't open the door, don't, don't count the three. You are just always very, very harsh. 
Let me call the queen. Since you don't have the proof, let me look for the proof by myself. She's not picking. Put a smile on your face so that she will pick. Let me smile for you. Mm -hmm. Hello, Your Majesty. Yes. Your Majesty, Mama want to go. Adela says she cannot go until I hear from you. She can't shout for security. Thank you, Your Majesty. Done. Calm down. You don't push at them like that. I am in security in this place. You have to obey the fact. I hate the church. They do something, you give them the respect. My office, they have the security. Who did I offend? Oh, yeah, come back to you, Pregnant? Yes. Hey! Hello, Emmanuel. I'm for Grandma. 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 i am for grandma i am for grandma i am for grandma i am for grandma i am for we go to any length to make sure she terminates this pregnancy. Even if it entails taking your life, that God woman forbid. will terminate this pregnancy. God forbid, Mama. Mama, you remember the dream I told you? You remember that dream I had, that bad dream? Yes, yes. When I was about entering the bike, 
I noticed that somebody was trailing me. Hmm. I looked. I saw the person's face, the exact face I saw in that dream. Hey! But all of a sudden I did not see the person again. Are you sure about this? Yes, Mama. Hey! You know, since that time I had that dream, the incident has not left my mind. I've been worried. Mama, our lives are in danger. Mama. Mama. Mama, what are we going to do? Mama, do I know? Mama, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go inside, we are gone. We are not going back into the house. Are we going to sleep here? It is better to stay alive outside than to go inside to die. We are not going there. See, that boy will definitely come back. I'm sure he will come back. Oh what if rain falls? It is not going to rain. Even if it rains, it is even better for us to get wet here and stay alive than to go inside to die. If we stay outside here, we are going to be more careful and awake. God, please preserve us from those that want to kill us for no reason. Amen. Our lives are in your hands. We are not spending one more night in this house. This house is no longer safe. The question is, where, where do we go from here? Eh? We are going to go to my place. Umos. That's where I come from. I'm not actually proud of my nativity. But as it is now, we don't have any choice. Hey! My love. Baby. You know, I really can't wait to come with my people. To see your people so I can... Um, do all the necessary traditional rights to make you my wife. Ah, yes, sweet. That's very good. Thank you, baby. And yeah. you know I'm always ready for you. Yes, you know I love you so much. And I, and I love you too. <laughs> thank you, baby. You know, I, one of these days I want to go with you to see my father. So he can as well give you some fatherly blessings. Then you can proceed from there. <sighs> That's nice. I think it's a nice idea. So I don't know how would this weekend be like for you? How is your schedule? 
Oh, baby lesbians. No, baby, baby. But don't worry about me. Really? Yes, as long as you're ready. I'm okay. ready for you too. Oh, thank you very much. I've been waiting for so this much. day, baby. Thank you. I love you too. Baby. <laughs> Papa, ah ah, good day. <laughs> Papa, good afternoon. How are you? Ah, no, no. Thank you, Papa. Please, please sit. Well, I can see you are enjoying mm, your magazine. No, nah, we can have Please sit down, sit down. Thank you. Ah ah, my son. Papa. Uh, my son, I see you have my kind of eyes. She's very beautiful. Papa, thank you, Papa. Carry, <laughs> carry, I go market. <laughs> thank you. So thank you, Papa. Uh -huh. No. So, what do you do for a living? Papa, I'm a caterer. Wow. Cool. Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's good. Uh, how are your parents? Mm, Papa. Is um, my my mother is late, but my father is still alive. So um, where is he now? What does he do? Um, my father is a farmer. He's in our village, Papa. So where are you from? Papa, I'm from Umosu. Umogene. Umosu, Papa. Hey, chukwa chukufiawa. Papa, ah, what's the problem? Hi! Ma, come. Papa, what's the problem? Come. Just relax. Papa, Cannot marry her, cannot marry her. But why, Papa? She is an outcast. Did you hear the name of her village? Papa, Papa. I thought they no longer refer people as Osu. Besides, the Osu system has long been banished by. by Forget Mr. about Mr. the white man and his church dogma. Our tradition still remains effective. And it doesn't matter how long they try to change. You are a free boy. And as a freeborn, you are not supposed to have anything to do with Anosu. Listen, let me warn you. If you have anything to do with Anosu, when the repercussions start coming, do not call me because I will not answer you. This meeting is over. Meanwhile, get that thing out of my compound. Papa, as it stands, she's pregnant for me. Eh? Yes, Papa. She's carrying my child. To Fiakwa. God forbid. No, that's what I want you to do. To understand. Neither she nor her culture will come into this home. I have warned you. To you. Don't worry, I want us to leave this village immediately. Come. Is everything alright? No, no problem. You don't have anything to worry about. What, 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 what nonsense? If I start want to find the wife, it's an Osu you brought here to contaminate my, 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 my family. R rubbish. Is that what I taught you? I brought you up where? Nonsense. Thank God you are here. Listen, let me tell you the truth. I can no longer continue with this marriage plan or whatever you think it is anymore. Okay? Baby, why? No, no, baby, you can't do this to me. Look at me, baby. I, I'm pregnant for you. And you can't leave me at this stage of our relationship. Nedi, does it look like I'm joking? Listen, I cannot entangle myself 
my family and my reputation with the negativity and all the cause that is associated with you and your family. So this has to end. Joe, please. You can't do this to me. If you truly love me, I think it's now that you have to show me the love. Don't do this to me, please. Hold it there. I am not doing anything to you. Your origin already did that to you. What is it you can't understand? I cannot is I cannot, period. Baby, please, I'm begging you in the name of God. Jo, Jo, what about the unborn child? Please, Jo, you can't do this to me, I'm begging you. You are not understanding me. Please, I can't associate myself with this cause and this negativity that has to do with you, your family and your entire people. Baby, baby please. Don't, please. don't baby me, eh? Leave me, it's okay. Baby, 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 please. Jo, Jo, please, you can't do this to me. Oh my God. No. I am not so proud of my place. I am not. But you know what they say? Safety first. We have to live here today. Maybe later we relocate to another village. But for now, for safety reasons, we have to go there. We have to go there. All we right, Mama. There. All right. You know what? Go inside. Pack as much clothes and utensils as you can. Now we start going. Because, okay, let me pack those ones I washed at the backyard. Okay, okay, let me. Okay, okay, okay. Please be fast. Is that you? I hope there's no traces. Not at all, Your Majesty. Yeah, trust me. That's my boy. Nice job here. You can go and enjoy. Call you when I need you. Your sins can be covered forever. Forever. Your evil can be covered forever. 
now. The marriage can commence. Can be covered forever. Forever. This year we get this. Can be covered forever. Forever. If I believe it, you see you keep it. The secret you hide today. Watch your life tomorrow. No use for the decay. Madam, what is your problem now, eh? Why are you disturbing the peace of this palace? Or do you want me to, to invoke the god and the ancestors of this palace? I want to see the queen. Hmm? Open this gate, I want to see the queen. No, why are you Open this gate, I want to see the queen. You want to see the queen? Yes. Uh -huh. Before I allow you to see the queen, you have to tell me who you are. Your father's name, your mother's name. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to joke with you. I am not joking, I'm doing my work. I am a native of this kingdom and I have every right to see the queen. Open this gate, I want to see the queen. Hey, madam, calm down now. Nobody is disputing the fact that you are a native of this kingdom. But do you want me to just go and tell the queen mother? Oh, the queen mother, a native of this kingdom want to see you. Okay, 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 okay. Your name? Go inside there. Tell the queen mm -hmm. that the mother to her chef, Wamma, is here. Oh. Mama, Wamma, yes. Mama, Mama, Mama. 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 Hey. Yeah, calm down, calm down. Mm -hmm. Calm your temperature. Okay. I, I will go. Okay, okay. So, calm down now, calm down. Can I come with no, you? No, 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 no. You. Greetings, Your Majesty. Who is that the face? Your Majesty is one woman. She says she's been one man's mother, the chef. What does she want? Your Majesty, she says she wants to see you. All. For what? I don't know. I'm not in the mood to entertain any visitors. Tell her the queen sleeps. And doesn't want to be disturbed. Not. The queen sleeps. Nothing is hard for yes. her to do. The queen sleeps. The, She's the queen sleeps. The no queen one sleeps. crosses her leg. And go just free like that. Oh, you must pay the end. <laughs> Madam, calm down now. You are making me emotional. Stop! I want to go. I want to go see the queen. I want to see the queen. I want to see the queen. I want to open the gates now. I want to see the queen. You cannot see the queen. Why? The queen sleeps. Sleeps. Oh no, no, no. Sleeps. Huh? Okay. Okay. I am going to stay here. And wait until she wakes up. Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm going to wait here. I'm going to sit down here and wait until she wakes up. Because if any of you thinks I'm going to leave this place without knowing where my daughter Wamba is, oh yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Madam, if you want to see the queen, don't, don't, don't maintain that fact. Don't use format. Don't use format of your daughter. Eh? Who is holding your daughter here? Yes, today your daughter left this place. Now you are using format because you want to see the queen. Don't use that format. I want to see the queen. I want to see the queen. We are this boy. He said, could it tell mommy in her sauce? I want to see the queen. Don't get yourself involved in what you don't do. Don't get yourself in this matter because this matter is bigger than you. Open this gate. Open this gate. I want to okay, see okay, the okay, queen. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. I, I will allow you to see the queen. I will. I, I will open. Just stand like this. Calm okay. down. Just turn. Okay, turn. Turn small. Face the other side. Look. Look small. Look small. Now. I, I will now. Just obey my instruction now. Just look. Look. Bye bye.
of this palace now. Please, I want to see my daughter. Let me see the queen. She knows where my daughter is. Uh, I know she knows. She will tell me where my daughter is. See, madam, let me tell you something. Eh? You see this place where they work? Eh? Now this place where they carry take care of my four children where they village. So you know, come spoil something for me. Oh, my only daughter! See, daughter. madam, the queen sleeps. It's obvious the poor girl leaked her secret to her poor mother. She's at the gate now, reporting, shouting. I do not want her to create a scene. Do you know what to do? I need you here right now. Good. Good. Don't kill me. I won't disturb them again. Please don't Keep kill moving. me, my son. Eh? 
keep moving. Uh, yes. Thanks, sir. Keep moving. Target two is down, Your Majesty. I'm at your service. Your sins can Thank be covered forever. forever. The next part, which is celebration and coronation, will come in uh, a month or two. Depending, depending on how fast you are able to play the game, the ball. Uh, 
I'm sorry, I'm lost. Uh, you may want to explain further. Your Majesty, has he not been duly informed? Well, um, I intend to inform him as soon as the first phase is completed. Inform me about what? Calm down, sir. One step at a time. Hmm? Maybe I should just go ahead and tell you. Uh, please, go ahead. I'm listening. You see, according to our culture and ordinance, which transcend from generation to generation, before the prince will be crowned a king, to take over his father's position, his duly married wife must be put in a family way so that we'll be sure that the prince and his wife are capable of producing an heir that will take over from there. <clears throat> I don't get it. Huh? That my wife must get pregnant? Exactly. Before my coronation as the king? Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> Mother. Yes. This has been from generation to generation. If a Joko kingdom detests a barren queen, as a matter of fact, no barren woman can take the position of a queen in Ife Joko kingdom before a queen has been declared. It has been said that she will take in to ascertain that she is capable of giving the Ife Joko kingdom their next heir apparent to the throne. This has been from time immemorial. Your late grandmother, the late queen before me, did it. I did it. And you, as a person, your wife, will do it. This is a tradition, Jidofo. Why didn't anyone tell me this before now? I was waiting for the right time to tell. And this is the right time. What if my bride finds it difficult to conceive? Why would you insinuate that? I'm not insinuating that, mother. You're a woman. And you know what I'm talking about. Not all women conceive immediately after they get married. So, for some it takes years. If her adventure it goes that way, would I have to wait that long before I become king? Why would she conceive now? Is there something I need to know? I'm not saying she will conceive. I'm asking to know, just in case you experience the late conception. Stop asking stupid questions. Mother, it is not a stupid question. I am asking so I can stand. Well, you don't know you don't fall. Your stand is no coronation. Your wife must be confirmed one or two months pregnant before the coronation. And the pregnancy will be confirmed by the chief priest, not even a doctor. The chief priest of Ife Joko Kingdom has to confirm it.
all this is just too funny. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, funny. Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, how myopic can they be? In this modern age, what makes them believe that it's only the woman that has the problem? What about if the man is the one with the issue? Why would they be thinking like people in the 60s? That's crazy. Don't they reason? Oh, I stand with you, girl. It's so funny. These old people are the archaic way of doing things. Maybe as a young ones, we should maybe, just maybe start sensitizing them. So take a stand with a modern lifestyle instead of holding on to this very archaic way of doing things. Exactly my point. Because this, the, all this they are saying makes no sense to me. At all. Someone has to get pregnant before the coronation can take place. Oh, bad. <laughs> How would they be thinking like that? This is 21st century, baby. They should not even try that. They should wake up. Because all this, I'm really tired. I'm really, really tired. So what happens if the man is the problem here? What happens then? It's okay, baby. What oh, rubbish. Hey, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. You're taking this too far. You're, you're, you're ransom. Ain't it? Mm-hmm. Maybe it's time for me to show you that I got no problem. And you have no problem too. Okay? Let's get to work. <laughs> get back to work and let's just make babies. And then get this coronation done, baby. I want to enjoy my love. <laughs> baby, I don't like this at all. Stop it. Here. I've been searching for you as well. How was your wife and how was your first night with her? Beautiful. And you? Peaceful as ever. Say it. Thank you, mother. So tell me, why were you looking? For me. Oh well. I have been pondering about what you guys told me yesterday. I think something is not just right with the other answers. May I know what is not right with it? Mother, you will agree with me. That this whole thing, I mean, the ordinance and all that, were put in place where men were still in the dark age. So? Now that illumination is here and the light has come, I think it's time men put an end to all these things, you know? Why are you so concerned about this? Is she not medically fit to give you an heir? Mother, this is not particularly about her. So? I am speaking in general terms. Mother, we all know infertility do occur in men just like it is with women. But this is where the problem is. How do we ascertain the fact that the problem is with the man and not the woman when it occurs? Jide, I believe that you can never be wiser than your ancestors. So, do not run more than your chief. That doesn't answer my question, mother. <clears throat> okay, if you want me to elaborate it, listen. When the prince's wife, the first wife, is unable to get pregnant, 
happened within the six months of their marriage, she'll be sent away for the prince to take the second wife. If the second wife is unable to be pregnant, she'll also be sent away and the third one will come. And when a third wife is unable to be pregnant within six months, the prince's younger brother, the immediate younger brother, takes over the throne. And in the case where the prince doesn't have a brother, what then happens? Well, the late king's immediate brother and his family takes over the mantle of leadership. I see. So if I were you, I'll get busy already. Any more questions? You had your breakfast? I'm hungry. I'm fine. Sure. Check off my back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Is the maid back? Not yet, Her Majesty. Not yet? Yes, Her Majesty. Listen. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. Where are you headed? Um, I'm actually okay. headed to the mall. Okay. Yes. To do what? I want to get some sanitary pad. Sanitaries? Yes. Don't tell me you're still seeing the measure of you. I beg your pardon? Didn't your husband inform you what is at stake? Mom, there's two months gone already. Excuse me. Now listen. On no account should any maid or guard leave this palace, except I say so, apart from their three days. Am I right? Yes, Her Majesty. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Her Majesty. Now tell me when she returns. She may leave. Thank you. She's more than a woman. <laughs> She's oh desperate, selfish woman. Why are you crying? Babe? Why don't you get your stuff today? Babe, just leave me. Why, why is your mom treating me like this? Why is she making it look like something is wrong with me? Why? Why does she make you feel I have a problem? Why does she derive joy in embracing me at every giving take? Why? She, Why is she doing that? She did? Yes, she did. Now listen, before coming down to Nigeria, I went for fertility test in the UK. And everything confirmed that I am fertile. I can bear children. I can be a mother. And I'm ready to undergo any test you want me whatsoever to prove my innocence let her know that I can bear children I am tired I am tired baby why is she treating me like that? why? why? why would she treat me like that? why would she treat me like that? why? oh my god you 
have no right to embarrass my wife, brother. You have no such right. She deserves her respect. I only stated the obvious. What do you mean the obvious? What is she still doing with sanitary pad by this time? Don't you want to ascend your father's throne? Don't you? What if it's I, your son, that has a problem? Of course, my son is not the problem. You can't be too sure, You brother. are as free as you ought to be. I am one million and over time percent sure. Mother, you can't be too sure. You are not God! Can you just know you? You can only be sure when the medical test result comes out. Morning. Why, why are you like this? Babe, you've been this way since morning. You still don't want to tell me what's, what your mother told you to put you in this mood. I'm fine. Nothing. Nothing? Babe, did you just say nothing? How can you say nothing? I don't, I don't get this. Everyone is waiting for me to get pregnant so that the coronation can take place. Your mom, on the other hand, has been busy embarrassing me and rubbing it on my face like there is no tomorrow. You went to confront her on my behalf. You came back and you've been this way and here you are telling me nothing. How can you tell me nothing? Your eyes says it all. You want to say something, but you don't want to speak. I'm your wife. You can always confide in me and tell me what the problem is. But you don't want to talk to me, right? 
You don't want to talk to me. It's all right. Fine. Keep sucking. Suck it all. <sighs> when I'm tired, I will show you my true colors. Rubbish. Oh. No sense. Lucy, he's hiding something from me. I'm very, very sure about this. But you know what? There is limit to how far I can take. What if he was being honest when he said, whatever it is that caused his mood swing had nothing to do with you? What are you saying? Lucy, are you saying I don't know what I'm talking about? Or what I observed? No, I am just asking. Okay, fine. I think I need to break it down for you to understand. He went to confront his mother on my behalf. How she has been embarrassing me in this palace. He came back with a swollen face. He was looking so sad, like you could see like he was boiling. And you want to tell me that whatever that is making him feel that way has nothing to do with me? Come on, I'm not a baby. I can read your handwriting on the wall. Now that's fine. I guess. But, is there anything on your mind? Yes. I feel she told him I'm not fertile to bear children. Yes, I'm very sure she wants him to kick me out of this place so he could get another woman. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, no, you are going too far. I'm not. Lucy, the truth of this matter is not far-fetched. Can't you see it? You might be right. I'm very right. I'm very sure he doesn't have the nerves to have this conversation with me. That is why he's keeping it away from me. But you know what? I won't sit down here and watch them ridicule me. I will not. I will take the bull by the horn. I won't let them ridicule me. That's some period. Babe. I understand exactly how this feels. But I need you to take it easy, babe. You see, this is not what I planned for my life. This is not. I'm so upset. This is sickening. I know. You're going to be fine. Trust me. Now you listen to me. It's obvious you don't want to tell me what has been eating you up. Fine, it's all right. I won't bother you to tell me anything about it again. But listen to me. We will be going to see doctors. Not just one, not just two, not just three, but four different doctors. Yes, you heard me. Not just one, not just two, not just three, but four. Yes. We have to go and conduct fertility tests to know the reason we haven't been able to bear children for the past two months. Oh, two months? Not even two years. And all hell is let loose? Oh my God. Now listen to me. I understand you need to ascend your father's throne. No problem. When we go to the hospital and we discover that I am not fertile to bear you children, no problem. I will go back to the UK. I will quit this marriage, you heard me. So start getting ready. Babe, 
baby. Yeah? What do you have to say? What would you have to say? Baby, four doctors confirmed that we are fit to bear children. So what could be the problem? Are you expecting an answer from me? Of course. Baby, your mom makes it look as if I am the one with the problem. She makes me feel like I am a barren woman. I can bear children. Babe, can we please put this matter to rest at least for now? Any? Yeah. Now let's talk about it later. Alright? did it go? All four doctors confirmed there's nothing wrong with us. They said we're medically sound to have as many children as we want. So? Even before coming down to Nigeria, I had already gone for fertility test and all the lab confirmed that I am fed out to, to bear children. I'm just, I'm just very confused why I'm, I'm unable to conceive. I don't know. Just can't place it. Not making sense. It's okay, my love. You only know a part. If you know everything, you understand the queen's plight. Babe, 
Make me understand. Make me know all. I'm confused. Um, maybe we're moving too fast. Yeah. Maybe, just maybe our quest to ascend the throne is making us feel we've been 10 years in marriage without a child. Uh, maybe we should take it slow. We'll take it gradually, step by step. It was just two months in marriage. Just two months. Whatever. Is that all you have to say? Whatever? I just want to apologize. Apologize for all that has happened. Apologize over my silence, my mother, and um, everything, everything. Uh, I don't know how to say this though, but I just want to let you know that I believe in you. But I love you so much, and nothing has changed, despite all this drama. You see, I hold you right here, in the depth of my heart. I'm sorry for everything, okay? See, I promise you, I'm so optimistic, everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna work out fine, okay? Try those tears, okay? I'm here for you. I'll stand by you. We're gonna work this out together. You don't know how much you mean to me. You mean so much to me. I promise you this day. I love you, babe. Wakey, wakey! Oh. <laughs> Still sleeping? Oh, babe. Yes, honey. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, babe. That's my girl. Mm. Still feeling sleepy? Baby, you don't know what you did to me last night. What did I do to you last night? Mm. What did I do? Tell me. You know how my night was, you know? You made me feel like a woman, baby. For real? Yeah, you did. Oh, you can mm. see that again. Baby. Yes, honey. I'm married to the right man, you know? You can see that again. <laughs> so handsome. Mm -hmm. I know. Very tall, intelligent. Hmm. And then you're good in the other room. Oh, baby, you're making me <laughs> blush now. I'm blushing. That's true. <laughs> baby. Yes, my love. Um, I want to propose something. What is it? Baby, I want us to embark on 
a month back to back baby making agenda? Mm, maybe we just make it two months. Any? Hmm? Um, that's if one month doesn't work out, then we can make it two months. <sighs> <laughs> Come to work, baby. Bad man. <laughs> baby, oh my god. <laughs> Go get me the prince bride. Tell her to consent me right away. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Come in. Mm. Greetings, my princess. Yeah. The queen requests your presence at the palace garden urgently. Oh, tell her I am not coming now. Okay, my princess. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mother, uh, please. Do you... what, 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 what are you doing? Why are you walking around the palace naked? Have you forgotten who you are? What are you wearing? Mother, come on. I'm not walking around the palace naked. You are. I'm not. Look at it. Oh my. Uh, it's all good. I was actually busy upstairs and uh, I thought about coming here to ask you for some energy drink. The same you gave to me when I was really tired the other time. Do you still have some left? She said she can't come now. She what? She can't come now, Your Majesty. Who are you talking about? Your wife. I sent her to go get Jen, and Jen told her to tell me that she can't come now. What effrontery? Oh, mother, come on. You can't be so serious about this. She has a strong reason for that. What stupid strong reason could she have? Oh, it's my uh, uh, What reason could make her? Not to come answer me. What listen? reason could be more important than to answer the call of the Queen Mother of Ife Jaku Kingdom? Hey, Mother, come on. I'm, I'm just calm down, okay? All right, it's my fault. I didn't tell you. About? Yeah, we we'll just finished making out. Mm -hmm. And the doctor advised you relax in bed at least an hour after we finish meeting. Yes. So keep the semen intact. Oh. So, Mother, she's not being rude, okay? Take it easy. Oh, that. It's all right. The energy drink is um, in my chamber. It's under the reading table. Oh. You can take a full pack. You need it. Sure. Oh, if need be, tell them to make you oat with milk or yogurt. Mm. That's my mother. Selfish woman. A woman without sympathy. A woman. Yes, honey. I'm suspecting something. Really? What is it? I think I'm pregnant. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God! For real? Yeah, baby. Really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> celebrate yet. First thing tomorrow morning, I will use a urine test tube to check it. Then we can celebrate. Mm. Uh, you haven't checked yet? No. But what makes you think you're pregnant? Baby, you know, my period was supposed to start four days ago. But here we are. It seems like everything has changed. <laughs> And my menstrual cycle doesn't change like that. Wow. <laughs> Just hold on a second. Just confirm you're pregnant. <laughs> okay? Leave the rest for me. See, what I'm going to do to you, man, <sighs> I swear. Baby, I believe God will do it. Yeah. Yes. Don't you believe? Of course I do. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
are you crying? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what is it? Baby, I was about you in 18. Okay. I found out that my menstrual flow has started. <laughs> Baby, what have I done wrong? Who have I offended? Why is God punishing me? Why is God punishing me? Why is my own different? Who have I wrong to deserve it's okay. this? It's okay. Baby, who have I wrong? It's okay, stop crying. Baby, this is not what I planned for myself. I will not solve anything. Stop crying. <laughs> It's okay, baby. It's okay. She's desperate, selfish woman, a woman without sympathy. Another two months have elapsed. Still no show, no sign. For the past two months. Neither of us have left the house. I made sure. My wife and I have been on couple's duty. Baby making assignment to not avail. Apart from a menstrual flow, nothing else. I mean, nothing else happened. But you told me, Doctor. You said we were good to go. You said there's nothing wrong with us. Doctor, please. <sighs> what could be the problem? Which other way, means can we devise, please? Tell me. Uh. What I'm about to say now is not professional at all. And I think I will have to still say it. At this point, I suggest we go spiritual. Spiritual? Yes. You know, considering your background and also considering what is at stake here, there could be some spiritual elements. We don't want you to ascend your late father's throne. And until you find out who they are and what they represent, we'll be making wasted efforts. Spiritual. If it is not spiritual, I see no reason your wife won't be able to conceive. If it is not spiritual, I don't see any reason you can't get her pregnant. Spiritual. Spiritual. The only element that can be fighting me from ascending the throne is my rape case. Maybe I need to call one man and apologize to her. Yes, I need to call her and beg for her forgiveness.
Jiggy doggy puchika It's may take time But it must surely come to pass It's may take time But it must surely come to pass Brave You can't remain in this mood for the rest of your life Please cheer up, okay? What did the doctor say? He's as confused as I am. He's suggesting that this has to do with spiritual problem. Eh? Spiritual what? Babe, do you believe in that stuff? As it is right now, I don't even know what to believe anymore. I speak to my mother. She has an explanation to make. Mimi? Yes. I'll be right back. Hmm. Excuse me. Take a good look, mother. You're angry with me. I need answers. I need to hear the truth. About? Your chef that I got pregnant. Where is she? How did the abortion go? I need answers, mother! I wouldn't know her whereabout. As for the abortion, it went successful. I need to see her. I need to apologize to her. Face to face. I am sure she is the reason for this mess we're going through. That's not necessary. It is necessary, mother! I got her pregnant! I raped her! I got her pregnant! You made her abort the baby against her wish! According to what you told me. I am sure you know her whereabouts, mother. Where is she? I don't want your voice. The walls have ears. Where is she? I have no idea. I wanted to... Now what exactly are you hiding from me? Oh, come on. Forget about that for now. I promise you, when the time is right, I'll tell you. Really? Sure. Any? Please. Yeah. Let me change. This is so fresh. You like the soup, right? Yes, I do. It's cool. The new chef is something else. She's something. What's her name? 
Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Wow. She's very good. Mother. Yes, dear. You can't tell me you don't know whereabouts. Who's whereabouts? You know what I'm talking about. You know. You can't tell me you don't know where she is. Chidofu. Are you trying to force me to accept what I don't know? I'm not forcing you, mother. I am not. She has worked for you for so many years. And there is no maid in those palace that you don't know their homes. So do not deny the fact that you don't know where about. Well, I don't know. Mother, look me in the eyes and tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. So when is it going to be the right time for you to tell me about it? About what? <laughs> the maid you raped and got pregnant. What are you talking about? <laughs> wakey, wakey. Here we go. I got her pregnant. I raped her. I got her pregnant! You made her abort the baby against her wish! I am sure you know her whereabouts, mother! Just, just, just stop! Where did you get that? Where? Abe? Yes. Baby? Yes. Please wait. There's something on your lips. I need to clean it off. My lips? Yeah, don't worry, I'll, I'll get something to, to wipe it. Okay? What's on my lips? Something. Yeah, I'm not sure you know. You good now? Yeah, baby, hold on, tell me. <laughs> this, is, this is not really okay. Oh, no, really, I kind of slack. Okay. Okay, this is about to go off. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. My friends, yes. food is served. Okay, no problem. Come in now. Okay, my friends. Thank you. Babe, yeah? shall we? Um, I'll be right behind you. Okay. Now listen, hand that over to me because you don't have 
any right to eavesdrop on my conversation with my son. Hand it over. In your wildest dream, mom. Oh, in your wildest dream, queen. Oh, you think I, Jane, will hand over this evidence to you? You must be joking. No, you must be daydreaming. I, Jane, will never hand this over to you because this is an evidence that proven to be a red piece. <laughs> and you know what? I will never have anything to do with a red piece. This marriage is over. Over and done with. You don't know what I am capable of doing, do you? You can do anything, you heard me. You don't know me to. And now listen. <laughs> Get ready. Because the law would take its course. You heard me. Excuse me. Baby, baby please. Baby, baby come. Rubbish! Rubbish. Baby. Wait. Wait, please. I can explain, okay? The fact is... I, 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 don't, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm listening. Yeah. Bring it on. I didn't know she committed abortion. I didn't know. As a matter of fact, I was under the influence of alcohol. I was so excited the other time when you accepted my marriage proposal. So I was so happy to the extent I drank to stupor. I'm sorry. Did you or did you not rape her? I was under the influence of alcohol. That doesn't answer my question. Did you or did you not rape her? I... I did. Oh. You see? You are a rapist. I will never have anything to do with a rapist. This relationship, whatever we share, it's over. Did you hear me? Take this. Baby, it hasn't come to this. I'm done packing my things. I am going there to take my bag and leave this place. You disgust me. Baby, please. That's what happened. Don't please. you dare. Please, I, I'm begging you, okay? Honey, we can talk this over, okay? I'm sorry. Baby, please. Baby, baby. Don't, don't, don't you dare. Jidofo, don't try it. Jidofo. Can I talk to you? Take your hands off my box now. I'll do that, okay? Right away. Take your but... hands out of my box now. Did you hear me? I heard you right. Can I talk to you at least? There is nothing I am going to listen to you because you and your mom is nothing but liars. Liars! Oh, you deceived on. me. Wait, 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 now. Stop. What's your problem? I am warning you, don't test my patience. I am going to unleash my anger on you. Stay away from me. Just stay away. I have no problem with that, okay? Can I just have a word with you? Leave me the hell alone! What's the problem? Jidofo, what's your problem? I'm asking you. You deceived me. Your mom deceived me. How could you? I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry? You think sorry can heal everything? That's what you think. I hate you. I am disgusted. You disgust me. Your mom also disgusts me. Can, can I have a word with you at least? Oh, really? Yeah. Jidofo, you want to have a word with me? So now you want to talk. You want to talk, yes, right? Yes, please. Leave my box alone. Leave my... Inside and you open the damn gate and stop. Open that gate when you're looking go. at me. Why are you mopping like you're moron? Open the damn gate. Don't you dare. Don't try me. We can talk this over. Don't, don't try me. Don't try me. Why are you at this? Get this guy out of this place. I'm disgusted. What fuck? You'll see it's Honestly.
Seriously, Lucy? Oh my God. I've even forwarded the audio clip to you. Yes, I'm on my way to the hotel now. You can come and meet me there. All right. Okay, okay. My dear. What about what, 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 the driving? There's a guy with a gun. There's a guy with a gun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's very good of you. I trust you. I trust you so much. You've just done a wonderful and marvelous work. Listen. Destroy that nonsense. Yes. Selfish woman, a woman. Let me see. Let me see who will take away this drop from my hands. We just been. At least we we just been. Oh, mother, you can't Jesus, walk out on me like I that. Peace, you can't her. walk out on me like that, mother. No! I need answers. I don't have answers, you sick. Lies! Mother, you can't tell me my wife who was shot yesterday by an unknown gunman was a coincidence. Why did you do that? I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about, mother! Don't get on my neck. Oh, no, mother, speak! You know what I'm talking I about! I don't know what you're talking about! Stop getting on my legs! Officers! That's the Jezebel and her son. Get them arrested. Woman, you and your son are under arrest for the offense of rape of one Miss One Man and the mother of one Mrs. Jane. Who happened to be your daughter in law to you? She was murdered yesterday. They were arrested. My arrest? What? What? now. For your own good, I advise you remain silent for whatever you do or say will be used against you in the court of law. Will you shut your mouth up? Are you alright? You must be stupid to have said that to me. Do you know where you walked in? Are you, are, are, are you going nuts? Don't force me to make call. Now get out. Police. Woman, do you want to resist arrest? For if you do, I will be left with no option that to use force on you. Who is there? Get my phone. There will be no need for that, mother. What? We're guilty. You and who? Arrest us. You and who? Mother. You and I are guilty for the crimes you committed. Arrest us, officer. Listen, I don't know what you're talking about, and I am not going anywhere with anybody. In fact, I am going to make a Come back here! Officer, move them away. Come, my friend. Come down. You are under arrest. Move! Move them! Move! You have to come down. I you move! Move! I'll give you opportunity. Shut your mouth up! Move! Oh, whatever that's yours. You never knew. They say they're key. Who the fuck is this? I don't know.
Your Majesty, I am here already. Okay, you're coming. Please hurry. Yeah, thank you. If you move, I move you. What do we do now? As it starts now, hmm. we are helpless in this matter. Of course. What do we do at this point? Eh? What do we do? I don't know. We just need to start. Anyhow, I make sure we come up with something. Because the entire kingdom is depending on us to save this dying kingdom. Yeah, you are coming to know. Oh. The chief priest. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You, are welcome. you just came at the right, right time. time. Oh, you do. Honest. You are welcome. It is only foolishness that makes one think that the silence of the gods is a sign of witness. The snail and the fire thinks that is quenching the fire with its saliva, not knowing that his soul is roasting at itself to death. An old woman that was handed over a baby to take care of, all of a sudden started complaining of not having teeth. Was that baby handed over to her to devour? Mban. Abomination. Mban. Okay. The wise one, you've spoken enough to us in reduce. Yeah? Please, can you speak to us in plain language that we will all understand? Mm. Uh, please. The heir apparent to the throne lives. He lives far away from here. Until you get him. Until you bring him back, nobody had sensed the throne of the Tejoku kingdom. There will be no peace. I repeat, there will be no peace until he is back. What do you do? Me, I just don't get it at all. Eh? I just don't get it. Eh? I don't know. What do we do now? What was he talking about? I don't understand. The hair apparent leaves? <laughs> Where? Oh. How? Uh, um, please. Hmm? I think we should call him back. Let him come and explain to us or tell us what to, to do. Uh, uh, better, no, better. no, no, no. Huh? It's only a fool uh, that a parable is being interpreted for. It's not us to make the findings on already revealed truth. So, yes. <laughs> elders, how do we make the findings? This is, is where Omale, the blind seer, comes in. Oh, oh, to visit him. Oh, 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 oh. Omale, the blind seer. 
please tell us everything you see. Everything. Tell us. Mama. Mama, the palace chef. She was molested and abused by the prince. Hmm. The helpless girl had no one to run to. Uh, oh no. Hmm? Did you? Uh, um, Amali. Amali, we're listening. Amali, we're listening. Look into the water of purity and see for yourself. Hey, my, my prince. Shh. You are touching delicate part of my body, please. My prince, this is not you. My prince. Please. Listen to me. Huh? You have everything that the prince wants. You know what I'm talking about. My prince. Shh. My prince, please. My prince. 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 Jesus. What is going on here? And why are you crying? Who came to me and said that you asked I serve the prince dinner and I brought it. He said he's not interested. I wanted to take it and go. He grabbed me and forcefully raped me. Ah. Yeah. Listen, on no account would you tell anyone that my son raped you? Because of the rape, a lab result. Confirmed that you are a few weeks pregnant for my son. Jesus! Before more. This is a royal blood. And it can never be raised out of the palace. You're not royal, Tim. You're just a chef that came from the quarters. And my son cannot settle for you. I don't want the bride to be to hear anything about this rape. I wouldn't want a situation whereby my son will be leveled a rapist. So I want you to terminate the pregnancy. Your Majesty. Before I see the queen, you have to tell me who you are. Your father's name, your mother's name. I'm here to joke with you. I am not joking, I'm doing my work. I am a native of this kingdom and I have every right to see the queen. Open this gate, I want to see the queen. Hey, madam, calm down now. Nobody is disputing the fact that you are a native of this kingdom. But do you want me to just go and tell the queen mother? You the queen mother. A native of this kingdom want to see you. Okay, 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 okay. Your name, go inside there. Tell the queen that the mother to her chef. Mama is here. Oh. Mama, Mama, yes. Mama, Mama. 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 Hey. Yeah, calm down, calm down. Please, I am not going to disturb the palace again. Please, my son, don't kill me. I won't disturb them again. Please, don't Keep kill moving. me, my son. Eh? Keep moving. Eh. Yes. Thanks, sir. Keep moving. Evil. Mm. Mm. Please. 
Amani. You are the only person that can help us now. Yes. No one else. Bikun, tell us where we can find our daughter. Eh? We want to know, is she still alive? Eh? Can we even ever see her again? Please, tell us. Oh no. Look again, eh? Look again. Somebody help! Somebody help me! Somebody please help me! Somebody help me! Somebody help! Help! Like, scream from now to eternity. Nobody will hear your voice. No one will come to rescue you. God, please. Oh, God, please. God, please. Oh, God, please. Please, please, I beg you in the name of God. Please, please. Shut up. Please, please, don't do this to a pregnant woman, please. For the sake of my own child. I beg you in the name of God. What did you just say? I am... I am pregnant. For the prince. He raped me. He raped me. That's why the queen wants me dead at all costs. Please, I've not done anything. Please, I am begging you. You do job, Joe. Who's a standing cigar? Ha! You got to can't aim it. Can't aim it, can't aim it. What can you do? Who do the work? Aha! Who do the work? Who do the work? Chaka, who do you do? Chaka, who do you do? Take all to do. You must wear this on all your oppressions for protection. You shall not die in any oppression as long as this is on your neck. You shall be successful in all oppressions. But in all your killings, make sure you do not kill a woman with a baby. Yes, because if you kill a pregnant woman, the blood of the unborn baby shall rise against you and haunt you down. Go! 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 Please spare my life. I beg you in the name of our God. Please, please, don't kill me. Are you sure you're not lying to me? I swear with the gods of our land. I am not lying. I am saying the truth. May the gods spare me with this. May the gods spare me with this. Please. Your Majesty. Alright. I'll be there soon. Please. Now listen to me. Please. Listen to me. Okay, sir. This bush is the boundary between Ife Gioco and Omodara. The queen okay. just called me now that your mother is creating nuisance in the palace. And I am going there now to pick her up. Today will be her last day on earth. Hey, please don't kill my Shh. mother. Sorry. Shut up. Sorry. The reason I'm sparing you is because of this baby in your womb. Thank you. Shut up. Now, if I release you now, 
I want you to take this direction. Run into the deep bush. You will see a river. Once you cross that river, find a way and survive there. Are you hearing me? Survive there and never you return to this land. Because I've already told the wind that you are dead and buried. And dead people don't show themselves to people that know them. Thank you. That is what my mother and I were about doing. Shut up. Sorry, Sorry I will not come back. Shut up. Thank you. Thank you. God will bless you. You will never know sorrow. God will bless you. I said shut up. Sorry, sir. Shut up. It's just me and you in this whole world, in the middle of nowhere. No mother, no father, no brother, no sister. <laughs> it's just you and I, but you complete me. I thank the gods for bringing you my way. You are my precious gift. And I will treasure you always. Uh, That is the heir apparent to your throne being taken care of in abject poverty and penury. How to feel man yeah? is desperately wicked. Very, very wicked. Thank you, Amali. We appreciate it. Hey. Elders. Hey. The ball is now in our court. Yes. We must do something. We must do something. I'm the one. I'm the one, please, 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 please. You see, I have come with the elders of Ifejiaku Kingdom. To, to do what? We have come to take you home. Ma! 
We have come to take you out of this stretch. Yes. In fact, we have come to take you to the palace where you belong. That's why we are here. Please. Please. Forgive and forget, please. My daughter. My daughter. Hmm? You see, as we speak now, the queen and the prince are in the police custody. Yes. Eh? They are facing rape and murder charges with enough evidence to nail them to the wall yes. so they can't get out of it. They can never get out of it. It was uh, uh, the chief priest that told us that you are here and that you are alive. That you are with the heir apparent to the throne of the Juku Kingdom. That is why we have come. My daughter, my daughter, please, please. Eh? temper justice with mercy. Please. We beg you, please. Eh? Please. temper justice with mercy. Have mercy on our kingdom. You are the only person that can save our dying kingdom. Please, please, please. please. Forgive and forget. Forgive and forget. Temper justice with mercy. Eh? We beg you. Purification ritual shall be done. The marriage rites shall be paid fully. She be crowned the queen mother of this kingdom who will oversee the affairs of this kingdom until her son gets to the age of getting a wife for himself. Then he will ascend the throne of his fathers. But she is from Osu Kindred, as you are meant to understand. She is from Omo's community. So, then we don't have any option than to abolish the Osu system. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Chief Priest, by the powers vested on me, as the Onu of this great kingdom, From now, everybody from Umosu henceforth becomes a free citizen. Yes, and they are now free to intermarry and interrelate with every other freeborn of Ife Joku Kingdom.
Guarde esse. Acho que guarde esse. Hum. By the powers vested on me as the Onu of this great Ifejioku kingdom, I present to you a new queen, the queen of Ifejioku kingdom. Long live! The Queen! Long live the Queen! Long live the Queen! Long live the Queen! Long live the Queen! She's desperate, selfish woman, a woman without sympathy. Yeah. 